A sister is asking how to explain to a non-Muslim woman that the Prophet وسلم, is not a man of war, which she believes he is and therefore dislikes him. Of war. The Prophet وسلم, was a man of war at time of war. What are you talking about? What, he's supposed to be a man of peace at the time of war? No, the Prophet وسلم, said, do not pray for war, but when it comes, be patient. And our Prophet وسلم, after he received revelation, we're saying, after he was 40 years old, the Prophet saw him, he fought in 37 battles. And he carried with him 18 kilos, 18 kilos of armament in the hot sun, going up mountains, crossing the desert when it's 110 degrees and he's carrying 18 kilos of armor riding on a horse and this is after he's what 45 I'm mean, after he's I'm sorry 50 55 60 so the Prophet Sam fought in wars and the companions of the Prophet Sam said they said when the Prophet Sam was on the battlefield he was the most ferocious they said when he was on the battlefield, he was not ducking. He was standing in clear sight. He was not ducking. He was not hiding. He was in clear sight of the enemies of Allah. And he was fighting them. And they said, Wallahi, we used to hide behind the Prophet Sallallahu ourselves. So when he was at war, he was a man of war. And when he was at peace, he was praying in the night one-third or two-thirds of the night praying towards his Lord because that wasn't time for war, that was time for what? Prayer. And think about this. On the battlefield, Allah did not allow the Muslims to stop fighting. He said, oh, some of you go forward and continue to fight while the others is in sajda. When the other ones come out of sajda, the other ones go back and they fight. And so the Salah went like that. Say Allahu Akbar. So our fighting is balanced and our fighting is principled. It's not a fighting and a war like you're seeing on TV. Don't get it twisted. I'll take another question from the sisters. Oh, sister and sisters, you don't got to be apologizing to these here uh, skeptical non-Muslims. You don't have to be apologizing. If you're something you don't know, tell her you don't know, you'll get the answer for them. But you don't have to be apologizing like, you know, we always got to be back footing and, you know, jabbing and all that on the back. We don't have to do that, no. No, if you can get the jab, hook them. Hook them. Because there's a time for this and a time for that. A time for this and a time for that. We don't always have to be on the defense. No, there's sometimes when we can get on the offense, especially when we're on the good foot. You know what I'm saying? When your taqwa is right, and your money is right, and your heart is right, and your mind is right, you don't have to be fearful of nothing. It's living and dying like everybody else, but you're living and dying for a different cause. That's all. Yes.